Damn. Wow. He made me smile. It was a comedy show. I feel he would bring some comedy to the racing track, but also some maybe some surprises. I don't know what my entry would be like. Hey guys, I'm Daniel App, Formula E racing driver. My name is Amazon Letty. Hi guys, I'm Maya, and I cannot wait to see who we've got on this kind of call. Hello, hello, hello. I'm in. It's working Where now? are you in the world? Uh, in Hamburg, because they said you're only, you're so busy, you can only do it today. <laughs> who, me? <laughs> As an individual who has a great interest in racing and who's grown up frequently visiting Brands Hatch with my dad, this opportunity is highly exciting to me. That was so good. Clearly super passionate about Formula E as a brand in general. Really experienced in presenting, really engaged with the audience. You could clearly see that uh, it's very charismatic. I've been holding a microphone and embarrassing myself in front of others ever since I can remember. Wee. That was like Speedy okay. Gonzalez. Very energetic, you keep you engaged, that's definitely for sure. Maybe a bit too excitable. I think if he talks to you before the race, you definitely do a jump start. All I want to know is where do I sign to join the party? Join the party. Funny guy, I like that. There was a lot of humor. Um, so that gives it a, a nice touch. Great presenter, obviously, he's used to this. Good audition. Hey, TikTok. My name's Alexa, and I want to be the next presenter for Formula E. What about you, Formula E drivers? Are your weekend plans a little bit busier? Tennis. You can ask my, you can ask my engineer. Okay, that was funny. I like that. Yeah, I quite like yeah. it. Presenters that look a lot like. Me? It's me. I'm your guy. He did choose a very good picture of Sebastian Buemi, though, so I have to give him credits for that. That was a funny picture. Yeah, these lot would smoke me. I would say the top tier. I'm going to go around the top tier. But what's the medium score you can give? <laughs> It would be an amazing opportunity, a lifetime opportunity for them. I was actually struggling to understand it at some, at some points. Maybe it's because I'm German, but... And that will come yeah. with practice. They're the Gen Z crowd. Off they go. Alfie's made a good start. Gone into middle lane. Unbelievable. <laughs> Good was creating. Uh, I thought it was fun. I love dogs. Hello, my name is Lorna. I'm Hannah Prother. Today, I'm going to be joined by Janae James. I thought she was sweet. I like the idea of that interviewing myself as a different person. I thought it was quite amazing. Mm -hmm. What we have to remind ourselves of what we're actually looking for. We want somebody that's diverse, passionate, confident. Connects with the audience. and keeps yeah. us engaged. So let me talk to you about Fan Boost. I felt like I was actually watching a Formula E presenter-led show. I, I agree. I think uh, the way she talked was, was super good. My name is Antonio Dobrovska. <laughs> I thought he was lovely. He seemed like a nice guy. I feel this is opportunities for someone who wouldn't get the opportunity otherwise to look for an undiscovered talent that you can nurture. And my name's John. My editing isn't that good. I mean, I could do this. <laughs> Sorry if I scared you there. Please someone else start. For me, it was uh, not serious enough. It is interesting to hear, because I think most of the time when I'm presenting, I do the silly thing that he does. You just don't like the funniness, do you? Just, what a serious guy, straight to camera. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a serious German guy, you know? <laughs> so I love presenting. I've done stuff for Ford Music and the Brits. I also love motorsport. Nice. <laughs> really natural, really engaging. How fast do you think a Formula E car goes? I think she was very comfortable talking to people, you know, not shy, which is which is important. So so I really like that. Yeah, yeah we haven't seen um, that many people speaking to other people, only dogs. She has a lot of potential. I think maybe it's good to have a funny one. I actually feel that one yeah, of them right. needs to be moved into the top four. I do think he would appeal to Gen Z. I agree as well. They're diamonds in the rough, and I feel that's what we're looking for. Cool, I'm happy with that. I think we have some really good candidates. Okay, so we've got our four finalists. It's going to be super interesting.